And joining us on our program today is Dr. Michael Blazer. He is the Assistant Professor of Forestry at the LSU Ag Center, and he joins us today to talk about trees and what homeowners can do in the aftermaths of the hurricanes we had in 2008. And uh, Dr. Blazer, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, um, one of the things we saw as a result of Hurricane Gustav were trees down all over the place, uh, from metropolitan areas to the outlying areas, and a lot of homeowners in particular, I guess, are trying to figure out ways to replant some of those trees that were lost. How do we, how do we go about doing that? Well, it, uh, it'll, it, it'll be a uh, process of uh, you know, getting back what was lost there. Of course, it'll take time, but it, it starts with putting the tree in the ground. And uh, we're in that time of the year right now, uh, from fall through winter months. Uh, now is planting season, and uh, one of the things to really consider is, uh, is the amount of space you're going to give that tree to grow, uh, to plan for the future uh, when selecting that tree there. Uh, consider the, the overhang of power lines, how close you are to your house, and, uh, and consider what type of soil you're putting it into as well. Uh, one of the best things we know is uh, the pH of the soil, and you can get that from just a simple uh, strip test that you could get from Walmart or any of your uh, hardware stores and uh, also convey that information to the nursery person or uh, check your labels there at the uh, home and garden uh, uh, places you go in the shop and uh, I, I know, get I know the information. A, a lot of the trees uh, we, we saw, there was really no tree uh, that was spared. Everything from pines to magnolias, uh, particularly and, and live oaks, one of these trees that's kind of had wide stance but not a lot of deep roots. We saw these trees down all over right. the city, particularly here in Baton Rouge. Um, what, what would you suggest if I'm a homeowner, I don't have a whole lot of space to put my tree in, is there any one particular tree that works better in an urban area than another? Hmm. Well, it, uh, I'm, I'm partial to uh, those that, you know, won't fan out quite as much there. Of course, you, you lose a little bit of shade that way, but uh, you know, considering uh, the reoccurrence of these hurricanes, uh, something that has a good deep root system, uh, there, there are pine trees that have a good deep tap root. Uh, sweet gums, uh, uh, and, and there are many other uh, varieties you could select. And again, good nursery person is the best place to start. And, uh, and that when, we, when we talk about planting trees, uh, particularly in urban areas, there, there tends maybe to be, a, uh, I guess, a practice by homeowners. I want to try to put as many trees as I can in my yard, but I would imagine when you talk about uh, replanting new trees that it's probably quality over quantity. That's correct, yes. Uh, it, it, the last thing you want to do is load up your yard and create problems for yourself later down the line. They're, those trees will mature. And uh, again, allowing yourself enough room, making sure you select a tree that will grow well on the soil that you have. And um, also consider other things that will uh, that'll, uh, add to the value of your property. Uh, there, there are a lot of th options for tree uh, leaf change, uh, the flowers that they'll produce and uh, just think about it in terms of the landscape of your property. Well, very good. Well, Dr. Blazer, a pleasure having you on the program and uh, look forward to bringing you back and we'll talk a little bit more about this because I know a, a lot of homeowners out there are still cleaning up from the hurricane, so they may, might not have gotten to the replanting stage yet, but uh, some very good information. And I guess if folks want more information, lsuagcenter.com. We are here to help. Thank you. Very good. Dr. Michael Blazer, he is the Assistant Professor of Forestry at the LSU Ag Center.